I'm Ranger Lavender. What is a hat and why do we wear them? Besides the obvious benefits of weather and safety protection, hats often serve another less obvious purpose. They speak volumes about the person wearing them, who they are, what they do, and even how they feel about that job. The many different hats of the National Park Ranger are full of symbolism, revealing insight into the thrilling world of national parks, and even giving a hint of our hopes for the future. The National Park Service was created in 1916 to protect parks for this and future generations to enjoy. To help us do this very special job, we need a variety of very special hats. But one of the most common hats and by far the most recognizable hat of the National Park Ranger is this one, what we call a flat hat. The flat hat has some interesting features, some of which have been used as long as the National Park Service has been in existence. This is a Stetson style hat providing some good protection for sun and rain, but it also has some other design features, such as the Montana peak. That's that four squished peak on the top that's good for sheeting rain off the hat. The very first park rangers wore a very similar hat in the early parks like Yosemite in the late 1800s and early 1900s. But eventually we added some special design features. By 1930, we had a hat that looked very much like this one with these very special symbols on the hat band. Can you see what is imprinted into my leather hat band? That is the imprint of a sequoia pine cone. Here in Shenandoah National Park, do you see any sequoias? Me neither. Sequoia trees are special giant ancient trees on the west coast of the United States. Along the California coast is a place where people usually go to see these trees. These trees are very special, some of the oldest living things on earth. A giant ancient sequoia can grow 100 feet around, can be over 200 feet tall, and live for over 2,000 years. This is a pretty cool symbol to have on my hat. I also have the same pine cone here, a sequoia cone, on my belt. All park rangers are going to wear the same hats, flat hats, no matter what park we're in, even though we don't have sequoias. But that symbol of the sequoia is a great one for here in the parks. After all, it reminds us that we want to reach out to new visitors and explore new opportunities and ways to communicate. And we want to live at least as long as the ancient giant sequoias. This hat has some very special features because it is so recognizable. You can see it from way across a parking lot. Do you think that's important in a park? Sometimes our visitors come to national parks and they have some very important questions they need answers to. Where's the closest bathroom? That's an important one. How far should you stand from a grizzly bear? And can anyone tell us stories about the people who lived here long before it was a national park? You can find answers to these questions by seeking out a park ranger wearing this hat. Pretty awesome. But it's not always the most awesome and best hat for us to wear for all the things we park rangers do. It's a little bit hard, it can get a little bit hot, and it's really hard to hike or climb in it. Park rangers do a variety of jobs, and so we wear a variety of hats to help us do those special jobs. One of the hats that we wear is a special hat that helps us help you when you're way out in the backcountry. Imagine for a minute. You're hiking deep in the woods, over rocky terrain, splashing through creeks, and you slip on a wet rock and fall, injuring your leg. There's no way that you can hike out. What do you do? Hopefully you can contact a park ranger who can come and help. Maybe you will use a GPS tracker, a cell phone, a radio, or even holler to your next closest visitor hiking the trail or a friend that can go out there and get a park ranger to help. And when a park ranger comes all the way into the backcountry to help, they're going to wear a special hat, a helmet actually, much like a climbing helmet or a caving helmet. We're going to wear these hats when we join you on a search and rescue. It helps keep us safe while we help you. After all, rangers slip and fall on rocks too. So this will make sure there's only one patient on that search and rescue. Sometimes in national parks, 
Wildland fires occur. Sometimes they're caused by people and sometimes by natural causes like lightning. When rangers need to go out and help on these wildland fires, we're going to wear a totally different special hat. Looks a lot like a construction helmet. It's a hard hat. We're going to wear a wildland fire hat though with some extra special doodads like fire resistant cloth to help keep sparks at bay. And we're also gonna have a special uniform for this special job. Sometimes we're fighting a wildland fire, containing it, and other times we're just monitoring it, making sure that it's spreading in a safe way. Fires are healthy for some park ecosystems, but no matter what, we wanna be safe when we're there. So we're gonna wear that special hat when we're out in wildland fires. Not all fires happen way off in the backcountry though. Sometimes there's fires at visitor centers, lodges, or even just a vehicle fire on the side of the road. And we can be far away from the next closest firehouse in, an, in a city where there's urban resources. So sometimes in far remote parks, park rangers also have to do the job of a structure firefighter. And they're gonna wear a special hat for that special job. These fire helmets have extra things like visors, goggles, and maybe even flashlights to help us see in the dark when we go in burning buildings or help out on fires at cars and roads. Very heavy hat for a very heavy job. But one of the most exciting jobs that park rangers do are up in the air. When a park ranger gets into a helicopter or a fixed wing aircraft, we're gonna wear a flight helmet. You might be wondering, what is a park ranger doing up in the air when they belong in the park? Well, sometimes we're gonna get into these helicopters and airplanes to go far into the backcountry to help on search and rescues. Or in far remote giant wilderness parks like those found in Alaska, our science rangers might need to go far into the backcountry to do air quality or water quality studies or to count wildlife. And they're gonna wear one of these super exciting helmets for that super exciting job. Not all of the hats we wear are super special. In fact, one of the most common hats that we wear might look like a hat you often wear, a ball cap. The Ranger ball cap looks a lot like any old ball cap, but with one really special feature, the famous arrowhead patch. This arrowhead patch is also on our uniform sleeves. We wear it as a symbol of what we're responsible for protecting and a reminder of what we do in parks. It has some very special designs on it. This is in the shape of an arrowhead. That arrowhead helps remind us that we're here to protect cultural resources, the stories of the people who lived here long before we were parks, as well as the people are, who are visiting parks today. There's also an American bison, which reminds us, even if we don't have bison in our parks, that we're here to protect the wildlife that makes these places special. Many visitors will go to national parks specifically to see the amazing wildlife, be it pika, black bears, or American bison. There's also, again, that ancient giant sequoia, really tall, amazing tree, reminding us, along with this grassy meadow, to help protect the plants that make these communities so special in parks. There's even an, a snow-capped mountain peak off in the distance, reminding us how special these vistas are. Many parks were created for people exploring those very, very special vistas and views. A lot of people come to Shenandoah just to drive to the overlooks and look far across the wilderness, maybe as far as their own home. They can see where they came from while standing on top of a mountain. These vistas are very, very important features in our national parks, and this patch helps remind us what we are doing here in parks, protecting those for this and future generations. So I'm not always wearing my ranger hat. What do I wear when I'm not working? Well, I often wear a fun hat, maybe like you. When I wear a fun hat, I like it to showcase the things that are important to me, where I've been, what I've seen, even maybe the team I'm rooting for. What kind of hat do you wear? Where have you been? What do you love? One of the things I love is right on my hat and all around me here in Shenandoah National Park. It's important whatever hat you wear, that you wear it with intention. Hats can often speak for us without even talking, like megaphones on our heads. 
They tell a story about what's important to us and how we feel about that. So when I wear my ranger hat, I want to make sure that I wear it with pride and respect. After all, the National Park story is a very, very special one. And I want to make sure anyone that sees me knows that I know how special that story is. So what do you love about Shenandoah? Is it the plants? Is it the animals? Is it the vistas? Is it the memories that you can have with those you love? All of those symbols are right here on my hat and on my uniform. And the next time you don your special fun hat, take into consideration what story that hat tells. Where have you been and what's important to you? And that hat, be it a sun hat, a work helmet, or even your junior ranger hat, will tell a story. Now, every time I put on my ranger hat, I'm gonna wear it with pride and respect. And it's gonna tell a story about this park, but also my hopes for the future. I hope that Shenandoah and all national parks will live at least as long as the ancient giant sequoias. Thanks for joining me. Have an awesome day.